News coming in right now in the 2000 Red Fort attack case. The top court, the Supreme Court of India has said that the attacker will hang. The Supreme Court has rejected his review plea. This is Arif, the terrorist who was attacked, uh, who was in fact uh, convicted in this case, who attacked the Red Fort. The death penalty which was in fact uh, given to him will be upheld. He had sought a review of uh, that decision. He of course belonged to the Pakistani terrorist group Lashkare Toiba. The Supreme Court now has rejected the review plea after the death penalty had been awarded to the terrorist in this uh, case. Uh, Arif uh, Ashfaq, also known as Ashfaq, will hang. This is the 2000 Red Fort attack case that we're speaking about a terrorist attack which took place on Delhi's Red Fort in the year 2000, 22nd December 2000, which in fact was carried out by the Pakistani terrorist group lashkar e -Toyba. It killed two soldiers and one civilian in what was then described as an attempt possibly to derail India-Pakistan peace talks. It was in fact uh, the Indian court which uh, convicted six uh, of uh, the attackers in 2005 with sentences of variety of lengths. Six assailants were released in 2007 due to lack of uh, evidence but it was Lashkar e Toiba that indeed did take responsibility for this dastardly attack on the Red Fort that claimed the lives of uh, three persons including two soldiers and one civilian. The attacker in this case had sought a review of the death penalty but the Supreme Court now rejecting that review plea. So the death penalty in fact has now been upheld and the attacker in this case will in fact hang. It was in fact on 22nd of December 2000 that two lashkar e toiba terrorists had started firing indiscriminately and gunned down two army javans and a civilian at the Red Fort. My colleague Anisha Mathur is now joining me live from the Apex Court. Anisha, give us more details as to what happened in court. Well, the Supreme Court has upheld the death penalty of Arif alias Aspak, who is a Pakistani national who was found guilty of having entered India in consonance with the LET's uh, terror uh, network and had been partic had participated in the attack on the Red Fort on uh, 22nd December 2000. Now, he, remember, his the conviction had initially happened in 2009. Then in 2011, the Supreme Court had upheld the death penalty. The review and curator's petitions had also been dismissed back in 2014. But he had again filed a review plea that he should be heard in open court because the CDRs and electronic evidence against him were incorrect. Now the Supreme Court has very clearly once again said that even, even, even if the electronic evidence and the call detail records are not taken into account, there is enough other evidence against him. The entirety of the case against him is proved and therefore his death penalty has been upheld which means that Ashfaq will be given the death penalty. He will have to face uh, uh, the hanging at some point, but as the Supreme Court has upheld the death penalty. And this was a very horrific attack in the, the year 2000 when these gunmen had entered the Red Fort, which is a highly secure area, and had attacked the uh, battalion, uh, 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 the area where the battalion of the Rajputana Rifles was right. Thing and two right. So that is what well happened actually on the 22nd of December in 2000. Anisha Mathur getting us all those details from the Supreme Court. The review plea which was sought by one of the terrorists, uh, Ashfaq alias Arif, has now been rejected. He will hang, says the Supreme Court of India.